what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we got our first look at megan the upcoming horror movie ai horror movie coming to theaters next january and this is pretty impressive honestly from what i'm seeing in the poster uh this doll looks incredible in the sense of it really is unsettling and it's the realism of it i think is what's making it so unsettling and i really can't wait to see how this per, how this actually is conveyed on screen in the in the movie itself this is coming to us from blumhouse produced by blumhouse and james wan so with james wan being involved i would i would say in some capacity with the narrative then maybe we'll get something that's that's uh hopefully a new fan favorite amongst us horror geeks but again it's coming to theaters next january and we got our first poster for it at CinemaCon this week and this movie is going to be starring allison williams who many of you might know from get out who played roles and she will be starring in the film and she will be executive producing the movie uh and again that's arriving january 13th of 2023 so megan is going to be following allison's character of gimma a brilliant roboticist at a toy company she uses artificial intelligence to develop megan a lifelike doll programmed to be a kid's greatest companion and a parent's greatest ally after unexpectedly gaining custody of her orphan niece gimma enlists the help of the megan prototype a decision that has unimaginable consequences it says here Kayla Cooper wrote the script that is based on a story by James Wan and Gerard Johnston uh, will direct the film. So, again, this poster and, and shout out to you, you, Chris, 3C Films. I see that Bloody Disgusting in this article actually used your tweet. So that's amazing. But again, this this doll, it looks very intimidating. And, you know, I already put up a little tweet or not a tweet, but a post in the community section talking about Chucky getting his 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 wig snatched because if this movie is effective you know i because i know chucky is tired chucky he's been dominating you know the doll horror for quite some time he's been the strongest one out of the out of the bunch you know annabelle i guess you could say is is in there but annabelle's not moving on her on her own there's something something controlling her with with megan megan has the potential to give chucky give chucky that break uh also tiffany better watch out just in case <laughs> but i can't wait to see what happens with this movie because i'm liking this approach that we're getting as it pertains to exploring like a lot of modern technology in in the in the world and using it in the horror genre like artificial intelligence and how we're becoming overly reliant on that and technology in and of itself and then giving us these exaggerated stories of how being too reliant on technology can have its downsides of course in the horror genre they're exacerbating it and being exaggerated a bit more with this doll who basically yes i would say is an upgrade of of chucky chucky was a mo was a product of his time and it was effective when it came out in the late 80s so i hope we get something like that with megan and i know a lot of people are already comparing this to the child's play reboot or yeah reboot remake that came out in 2019 i believe but i think that this movie here has the ability of being a lot more effective than that movie and i think it just overall will have better quality altogether so i can't wait to see how this plays out i can't wait to see what goes what goes down in the movie and what megan can bring to the table and how this artificial how this ai doll is going to cause all this mayhem and terror and just what she can do in this genre as it as it pertains to killer dolls i would say for the horror genre because i know i've seen people talk about that movie dolly dears who which i haven't seen that movie in so many years but i remember when i watched it growing up i used to watch dolly dears all the time and i still love that movie it's just one of those movies that over time as you got older you just don't watch them as much but you still know you love them which in with, with that in mind i'll have to check out dolly dearest very shortly just to get caught up on that and for the nostalgia purposes because i used to love dolly dearest and that's another thing i was thinking of when i saw this when i saw this uh saw this poster last night i was just like wow and i know i've seen people already joking about this being one of the old sins no it's not her it's not her but you know megan coming out january 2023 what do you guys want to see from this? Are you thinking this will be able to become the next Chucky? Do you think that Megan has the potential of surpassing what Annabelle has already tried to do? Even though I don't think Annabelle has actually achieved that status. She, because again, the, the doll itself is not is not moving. There's a, there's a demon associated with the doll. So 
with this depending on how the movements and everything go with megan you know that could also make or break if people actually want to see a franchise surrounding this not to say that you need to turn everything into a franchise i mean sure you could have a one and done and she can still become an icon much like chucky because word of mouth is going to do a lot more good than just cranking out a lot of sequels that may or may not be living up to this movie that we actually of course have not yet to see will be good in its entirety yet either we haven't gotten an official trailer or teaser or anything but i just am excited to see what this movie does for this subgenre of movie making that's been going on for quite some time because even the child's play reboot isn't the first ai type of movie that's been explored that's been a success i i love how movies are exploring ais and how they can backfire on us and being these overly exaggerated narratives about how we shouldn't be too reliant on technology these movies are just good reminders to me of to not be too reliant on things that i use as as a human keep in mind how capable i am as myself be able to sustain a lot of things in my own life don't rely too much on technology for things that i can still do on my own because i might end up in a position where i think megan <laughs> is a good idea uh, i've seen a lot of wild things people have thought will happen with this movie in per as it pertains to this doll some some really out there in this in the sense of just the way the doll looks i've seen some sex toy jokes and you know i mean you know teach its own i don't think it's gonna get that wild in the movie i don't think there's gonna be anything like that where anyone's trying to have sex with the doll i hope not if anything that might be one of the more comedic moments but megan arriving in theaters 2023 of january i really hope that this somehow manages to become the next wave of an iconic character that can be talked about like Chucky, like Annabelle. And with James Wan behind it, I just have a lot of faith in what we will get in terms of not necessarily saying that he's had the most influence on it, but his name associated with it always sends some reassurance to us horror fans, given that we know that he's a proven director and filmmaker in the horror genre. But let me know what you guys think about Megan down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notification, and miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, some on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, and let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.